Hello guys, welcome back to Our Vision Farm. Today is going to be candling day. We are about five days into this egg incubation. I'm going to try to get this as done as fast as possible, but we have our silky eggs and quail eggs. And it is day five of them being incubated. So I'm going to check each one of them and remove any eggs that we do not see anything on. We do not see any growth or anything at all, no veins. We're gonna remove those because we definitely don't want them to get rotten in the incubator for the remainder of the incubation. And so I'm gonna do that as fast as possible so I can get these eggs popped right back into the incubator and they don't get too cold. So let's go ahead and see if we can catch some on video as well. On this silky egg, so what I'm gonna do is put it to the side and just continue to check my eggs to see if I see any veins or any type of development. This one is a blank one. That is just a spot on the egg. All right, so this one has something going on over here. You can see a darkened area with some veins as well. It's probably hard to see on the camera, but there is definitely something there. So what I'm gonna do is put it right back and I'm going to remember um, where I'm leaving that. Here's another one with things going on in there. Not sure if you're getting a good picture of that. But right here I'm seeing some veining. So that is a good egg. I do see a vein on this one as well and a little darker area down here kind of like a shadow it's kind of questionable but I'm going to leave it just in case you can also smell them to make sure they're not going rotten and you want to do that every now and then um, kind of just sniff in your incubator and see if you smell any rotten eggs there's nothing on this one All right, you can see something in that one, but right there. It looks like the start of something, but it looks kind of more far behind, but I'm going to leave it. This one's hard to tell because the shell has a lot of spots on it but I think I see something right there so I'm going to keep it this one as well you can see a dark a dark shadow right there I don't want to shake it up too much like I just did but because they have very sensitive little veins that are holding everything together If you can see when I slightly wiggle this around you can see something in there so that means there is something developing in there here's a good one that you can see that dark spot towards the bottom and some veining here's another one I see a dark vein here and some thinner veins towards the bottom kind of questionable but I'm going to keep it This one has veins here and a dark area down there. So I'm gonna keep checking all the silky eggs and then I will show you the quail eggs as well because those should be actually further along than the, the chicken eggs because quails take less time to develop. But hopefully you got some idea of what the eggs should look like around day five or six. This one is blank. All right, looks like we have 12 silky eggs that have something going on in them. Some of them I'm not quite sure of yet, but I'm gonna keep them just in case and keep my eye on them. And we have six here that I didn't see anything in. I will double check them just in case before throwing them out. 
So for the quail eggs, it's a little bit harder to see the quail eggs because they have all these spots and patterns on them. But here is one so far. The first one I checked definitely has some veining going on and like a little shadow area towards the bottom. So I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to find one that doesn't have a lot of spots. Might make it easier for you guys to see. This one also has little fine veins. But quails are so tiny in general that it's very hard to see on camera. But there is some activity going on in that egg. Here's a quail egg that I believe is empty. It's pretty much almost see-through the whole way. The only shadowy area that I see is where the egg yolk will be. But with eggs that don't have a lot of spots like that, they'll look um, almost like a hollow green color and that means there's no development in that. So that gets put to the side. Here's one that does have development in it. You can see the little dark shadow towards the middle. Hard to see on camera, but it does have veins coming off of there, very thin veins. So that is what you're looking for. This early on with candling eggs, all you're really looking for is veins. This one, it's looking pretty clear and empty to me. So let's put that one to the side. Later on, if you decide to candle again, sometimes you can see the little the baby moving inside of the egg. That's always pretty cool. You can also see their eye development. You can see the little dark spot of their eye. So that is always neat to see. But I'm just doing an initial candling just to see what we got going on and to remove any eggs that are absolutely empty. So like that one, you see how it's glowing and green? This is completely empty, nothing in it. You would see some thin veins in there by now. Any that you're not sure of, just keep it and just keep an eye on them. Like this one has a lot of brown, I can't even tell. It doesn't smell bad, so I'm gonna keep it. So this is, this is where we're at right now. Three, six, seven, seven, 14, 21 eggs so far. These are the ones that I removed. So we're gonna pop these back into the incubator now and just keep track of them. I'll probably check in another couple days. You don't wanna candle them too much either because the longer they're out of the incubator and exposed to the air, the worse you can actually accidentally kill some and delay the, the development so let me get these back in hopefully that helped you guys out hopefully you guys got to see some of the development in there on day five but i'll keep you guys updated on how the outcome is on these eggs